we have two functions f of x which is equal to 2x squared and g of x which is equal to a third to the power x right and then we have a point a on g of x and the first question 5.1 is saying let's determine the equation of f inverse of x the inverse of f in the form y is equal to so we've already established that f of x is equal to 2x squared we need an inverse of this function but then how do we possibly do that we swap x and y and solve for y so let me show you what i'm talking about instead of having f of x i'm going to put x here right and then this is going to be equals to 2 instead of x i have y and then squared right now i just have to solve for y as soon as i'm done with that i have the equation of f inverse in the form y is equal to so let's go ahead and do that it's easy to see now that i'm going to divide both sides by 2 and this will be equals to y squared right i divided both sides by 2 and then now what i'm going to do i'm going to take square root on both sides right so if i do that let's take uh, the square root of y squared and plus or minus the square root of x divided by 2 so i'm going to get plus or minus the square root of x divided by 2 being equal to y right and then we're supposed to have a restriction here because we know that we need x to be greater or equals to zero um, for this equation to hold and then just like that we have answered 5.1 the equation of the inverse of f of x and then moving to 5.2 so 5.2 is saying that for which values of x will minus 2 be less or equals to log of a third and then x and still have that being less than zero right so let's go ahead and find our critical values so let's go ahead and find our critical values so we can see that log of x base it's a third right is equals to minus two so let's go ahead and solve this so when i have x being equals to a third to the power minus two and this is equals to Nine, right and then our other critical value we're going to say that log of x base a third is equal to zero right so we're going to have x being equal to a third to the power zero we know that any number to the power zero is one right so we have x is equal to nine and x is equal to one so from here on we have two possible answers right uh, this is one of our possible answer we're gonna have x being greater than nine or x being less than one right that's one of our possible options and then the second option we're gonna have x lying between one and nine right so we're gonna have one here and then x is supposed to be greater than one but less than nine so one or two is our correct answer the best way of doing it is substituting a value of x which is between one and nine right and if we get an answer which is between minus 2 and 0 then we know that uh, that is the correct solution and if that doesn't hold then our first option will be our correct answer right so now we can say log of so we have log of x so let's pick 4 right as a number which is between uh, 1 and 9 and then our base is a third and if you put that in your calculator uh, you should get minus 1.26 so you should get minus 1.26 if you put that in your calculator so when we substitute a value which is between 1 and 9 we get an answer which is between minus 2 and 0 so this second option is our correct solution and then now off to 5.3 so 5.3 is saying that uh, let's simplify the following so we have f of 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by f of x plus f inverse of x squared right so we have f of 1 divided by x right so we know that f of x is equal to 2x squared right so if you substitute 1 divided by x we're gonna have 2 and then multiply by 1 divided by x squared plus 1 divided by 
f of x that is just 2x squared and then plus f inverse squared right we have calculated um f inverse we know that f inverse is square root of x divided by 2 we have a plus or minus here right and then we're supposed to square that so if we compute that we're gonna have 2 multiplied by so we have 1 divided by x squared right so we're gonna have 2 divided by x squared and then plus 1 divided by 2x squared and then plus so we square in square root of x divided by 2 so that will just be x divided by 2 right so now we need to have the same uh, denominators so that we can just simply add the numerators so we can give uh, this term here a denominator of 2x squared and even this term here we can give it a denominator of 2x squared right so if we give the first term a denominator of 2x squared it's just a matter of multiplying by 2 right so we can say 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 multiplied by x squared and just like that we have a denominator of 2x squared and then the term in the middle there's no issues whatsoever so we just have 1 divided by 2x squared then the third term to give it a denominator of 2x squared we multiply everything by x squared right so we're gonna have x squared multiplied by x and then divided by 2 multiplied by x squared right so now we have the same denominator which is 2x squared and then 2 multiplied by 2 that will be 4 plus 1 plus x squared multiplied by x that will just be x to the 3 right so this will be all equals to 5 plus x to the 3 divided by 2x squared